Hey, Coach. I'm glad you found us on YouTube. Um, I hope you enjoy the basketball uh, drill that's coming up. If you are here, you're probably a basketball coach. I want you to go check us out over at teachhoops.com, up here or down there. I don't think you'll be disappointed. 14-day free trial if you just decide to join lots and lots and lots and lots of great resources. So go check it out, um, and I hope you enjoy the drill. Thanks. And I call it my preseason homework. Um, it is one of a, a boatload of things that we do with our team as far as building team camaraderie, um, building um, kind of similar, feeding off of what we talked about yesterday, which was um, the foxhole um, test. This is dealing with team goals. Um, so if we could talk about this, um, I give them this as homework. Um, I want them to take, I, I print out the sheet. I want them to take it home. I want them to think about the questions, discuss them with their families, with their friends, and then be ready to talk about it on Friday. Um, and then we come together and as a group, we, we discuss them. Um, so going through them, it's like, first one is imagine at the end of the season, you're sitting at the basketball banquet. What would you like to have said about your team? You know, what, what do you want me to say about the team when we're done? Um, what's our goal? Um, how would you like to be remembered by the third grader at your elementary school or the fans that show up? Um, you know, maybe it's just getting older, but how do you want to be remembered by your teammates, by yourself? You know, what is this journey going to look like? Um, what is it that you want to get out of the season it's individually? You know, Johnny, what do you specifically want to get out of the season? Um, Provided that everything comes together, you know, what could we achieve if we really set our minds to it? What can, what should our end goal be? And, you know, recently that's been a state championship for us. Um, early in my career, like I've said before, it was, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it was uh, maybe winning, having a winning season. So, um, where do you see yourself fitting into this team? You know, where, where, what do you see as your role? Um, you know, do I see myself as a defender? Do I see myself as, as a scorer? I'm looking at the above questions, list 10 defensive rebounding goals that it will take to get to the above level. For example, I want to take two charges a game. I want to take, I want to be able to stop the defender. Um, so when I do that, I'm looking for specific things for them. So they're having to, to process and to analyze those specific goals. And again, <clears throat> what happens is, it doesn't always happen, but I, I send an email to the parents um, and say that we're doing this. This is kind of a homework assignment. I want them discussing it with their, with their parents. So I have the parents initial it at the bottom. I want them to go home and talk to their girlfriend. I don't, I don't you know, community. Sometimes we'll do this over Thanksgiving weekend in the sense that that's obviously a great time in our country for community. Um, and then we come back and we throw it on the table and, you know, all right, Johnny, how do you want to be remembered as a team? And then we'll sit and maybe I'll have everybody go around and read them. Maybe I'll pick people to do it. It just, it again, depends on the group and the dynamics of the group. Um, but a wonderful way to put early everything out on the table. Um, here's what, you want to be here's what we want to be how are we going to go about that and then that's that's and what's how this is kind of morphed into this 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 sheet at this point is then you know i don't care i you know i don't care how many points johnny scores <laughs> um i want us to win basketball games and something that they can that tends to be more concrete are those defensive rebounding things more than the offensive set. Now, there are some t times where, you know, okay, I'll say, um, Scott, your, of your 10 thing, defensive goals that you're going to have, and we narrow those. So I make them list 10, and then we will narrow them to four or five and to even two or three. Um, and sometimes it will be, 
you know, Scott, your goal is to get four offensive rebounds and then two putbacks. So he has two separate goals. Um, so again, it depends on the group. It depends on what you need from your specific group to, to motivate them. But, um, have found this very helpful over the, over the years. All right. Today we're going to talk about game goals. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, kind of branch off on Monday or Tuesday and talk about kind of the individual goals. We briefly talked about that before, but kind of how I've tracked it and how I've, um, made it something concrete for them to be able to do, keep track of it in their lockers and stuff like that. So I, I will do that one next week sometime for sure. Um, but let me move this cause it's kind of irritating me. Uh, <clears throat> so game goals. Um, what I really want to do, what I really want to do, uh, I just want to make sure you can hear this. I, I lost my, lost my sound there a little bit and I didn't want to tilt it out so you can hear. So, um, in their scouting reports, I always put game goals and this is, this is an old one. I just kind of pulled up. Um, I think there were one, two, let's see, three, six, nine, ten. 10 was 10 has always seemed to be the magic number for game goals. But, you know, everything from bench involvement to 15 offensive rebounds. And when I've done these game goals, I've tried to be as specific as possible. Obviously, talking in defense, I got to, is, is kind of, um, kind of open ended. But, <coughs> excuse me. Um, over the course of my long career, if we have gotten seven or eight of these, we win all the time. Six, we got a really good shot. Three, we're going to probably lose. I mean, to kind of, so kind of put it in perspective. But again, <clears throat> you have to look at your opponents. You know, when we play one of the teams at the bottom of our league, it's going to be obviously different than when we play somebody at the top of our league. Um, but, you know, you got to, you got to, we've all done this and I, and I definitely can help you if you, if you're having problems with this, but, um, you got to make them as specific as possible. And like I said, this isn't, you know, probably three or four of these are, are, you know, we were going to, maybe we knew we were going to win the game or, you know, no points on out of bounds plays. That's very concrete. I can look at every out of bounds play. Did they score? So, um, it's a great way to keep track of, uh, specific things and to hold them accountable and then we put them up in their lockers uh so they can see them all week or whenever we're playing a game and then um we talk about them like if we're not doing these things at halftime i'm bringing them up because we're not gonna win uh so <clears throat> be as specific as you can print them out let them see them plaster them all over the locker room here are the keys and to be honest with you probably 10 is too much uh, you know, five, you probably come up with five things. If you do these five things against, you know, podunk you, you're going to win. And we probably all know what they are. So the, but the key is you have to, you have to talk about them all week. You have to reiterate them to them all week and they have to see them. So text them, remind them, you know, um, put them in the lockers everywhere you can. Hey, we're not rebounding. We're not, we're not, we're not going to, we're not, we're going to have 58 fouls more than 12. So you got to keep reiterating to them over and over and over. This is what we need to do. Here's why we need to do it. This is how we're going to be successful. And then I think good things are going to happen. <clears throat>